One of the earliest forms of composite material actually happened to be this right here, which is woven fiberglass mat. Some old boats are made out of this, and we're still using this manufacturing technique today. Modern aircraft like the Diamond DA-20, the DA-40, even the DA-42 are composed primarily of fiberglass. On the other side, we have carbon fiber. This is the latest and the greatest, high strength to weight ratio, and most modern aircraft do incorporate this in some degree of the design. But a true composite is not just the fabric and an epoxy resin, we also have core material. This happens to be Divinacel, which is an open cell PVC foam. But foam core is not the only core material we use in composite materials. More commonly in aviation is this, a phenolic honeycomb. On its own, it's relatively soft. I can bend it, I can shape it and mold it. However, with the combination of fabric on top and epoxy holding the sandwich together, this creates some of the strongest panels in aviation. Imagine this was a carbon fiber airplane. We had a hole here. First step in the process is to take that damage and remove it with the grinder. Step number two is going to be make any repairs to the actual substrate below, be it foam or a honeycomb. It could be filled with epoxy. It could be filled with more substrate. It's all up to the manufacturer. Final step in the process is to make what's called a scarf patch. We would take some carbon fiber or other composite material, depending on the airplane, Cut out a little circle, start by filling in the inner part of the circle, and make progressive patches coming out from the point of damage. 